You know those mornings when you wake up and you have that mood where you just want to sit and just really soak in the moment and just allow that moment to take you into the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. That was the thought that I had behind Stiff in the Morning number 13, which this is. And I actually also thought that maybe I should have skipped this one because of the number. And then I thought, no, I'm going to do something completely different, be in my PJs, be in my bed, do a few restorative yoga poses to open us up to the day and just see what happens. It should be fun. So let me know how this feels for you. Share with me in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I will see you in bed. We're going to begin in a relaxed forward fold. So I have two pillows here. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, as many as you want. Drape your legs over the pillows and you can keep the pillows closer towards your heels if that feels good or more under your knees or further back towards your hips. So adjust the pillows according to um, the comfort level that you feel that you can uh, feel in this pose. Um, keep your heels together, knees open, so that you have a little diamond-shaped position. And then drape your torso over your thighs, as well as the arms. And you can let your head drop forward. You can place a pillow underneath your head or forehead or a yoga block. So I'm going to keep my torso and my head a little bit more away so that I can still talk and not disrupt my mic. But you just exhale and release and surrender into this moment, into this pose. And notice that when you exhale and you release, notice how that feels. And notice when you inhale and you feel yourself up, notice how that feels. And to see if you can find that little ebb and flow as you're finding your stillness physically. But just noticing that movement that is happening in your lungs from the deep inhalation and the full exhalation. Noticing how your lower, middle, and upper back is feeling after hopefully what was a long and good night's sleep. And then give gratitude to the sleep that you got. Even if it wasn't enough or felt like it wasn't enough. Be grateful for what you got. Gradually withdraw and come up, parallel your feet, and then feel like you're very gradually rising and opening yourself up to the day. Support your hands behind your knees and you can bend your legs a little bit further. And then exhale, round it in like you're doing a seated cat stretch. And then inhale, lift, and then arch it back like you're doing a seated cow. Try not to strain the neck, lift from the breastbone. And do that again, exhale, round. Inhale, lift, open, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, and arch. And then neutralize a bit. Then we're slowly going to take the 
legs off of the pillows and we're going to place the pillows behind us and the pillows are going to go right where our shoulder blades are so make space so that you can separate your legs a little bit and now you're going to drape your back body over the pillows but let your head rest back your head should feel comfortable and open the arms into like cactus arms position ah take a full exhale just let your back body soften into the pillows into your bed full inhale just feel the front body opening expanding releasing so you're softening your back body now and opening up the front body opening yourself up to your day so whatever you have on your plate today see if you can just let that be in the future and just focus on the now Focus on the present moment. Be with your breath. Be with you. Just inhale what you feel that you need. And exhale what you feel you don't need to take with you into the day. Feel free if you want to stay longer, but we're gradually going to take ourselves out of it. And it's important from that position that you roll yourself to the side and you push yourself up slowly. Never lift yourself directly up out of it. It's too much contraction after such a deep opening. And come into a John or Sushrasana position. So one leg bent, your left leg bent, your right leg extended. Place your pillows over the extended leg. And then open yourself a little bit towards your left bent leg. And from there, just bend it over to the side. If your head feels good just resting over the arm, do that. Or if you want to just gently support your head, make sure that your wrist stays long, not bent, because that can feel very uncomfortable on the wrist. And just let the second arm soften and relax, maybe palm, feel, palm facing up or palm facing down. And let the shoulder also soften. And you might feel just a gentle stretch into your outer upper hip and side body there. Try not to get into it deeper, just see how you can allow it to happen by itself. By softening, by staying present in the moment. It naturally brings you in to the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. Good, and then softly lift up. Ah, and we'll change it to the other side.
And so just sit up tall a little bit, open towards the bent leg, and then bend over the extended leg. And just notice how it feels on this side. Make sure that your wrist feels extended. Notice if you're holding on. If that is the case, move a little bit and adjust a little bit and exhale maybe a little bit longer. Notice where the gripping might be happening. And see how you can avoid doing anything in this moment. Just allow yourself to be. Good, and gradually come up. Ooh, now we're starting to get a little yoga drunk here, huh? Can you feel it? Cross your legs into an easy seat and feel free to sit on the pillows if you need to. Notice if you have a little bit more space in your side body, in your front body, in your back body. And then put your hands on top of each other. Close your eyes and your mouth. And then gently place your hands center left of your chest onto your physical heart. Draw your chin ever so slightly in and bow down to your physical heart. This beautiful muscle that contracts and releases every single second of the day to keep you alive. It can't only be in a state of contraction. It can't only be in a state of release. But the two have to work together in order to pump the blood around, in order to keep you alive. We can't only be in a forward bend. We can't only be in a back bend but we try to practice them both. Surrendering, releasing, letting go of what we don't need, and then opening up to what we feel is our full potential. But doing the work is all that we can control. The outcome, we don't know. So try to stay detached from the outcome of today. Just put in the work just like the heart does tirelessly over and over and over again to help to keep you alive. And then draw your hands to the center of your chest into your spiritual heart. Bow down and honor, salute your spiritual heart. Center for compassion and unconditional love. So as you put effort into all the things you need to do today, have compassion towards yourself. Love yourself in the process. Pour your love into what you do so that you feed what you are doing. Put your love and your devotion into it without any expectations of the outcome. Just like the physical heart. And then draw your hands a little bit below into your intentional heart. Bow down into your intention and set your intention for today. 
lead your life from your intention. So your intention feeds your spiritual heart. Your intention feeds your physical heart. Just like they help to feed your intention. It all works together. Then place your hands on your knees. Keep your index finger and thumbs together, palms facing up, into Jnana Mudra. The mudra for higher consciousness. By starting off your day, nurturing yourself, allowing yourself to be, you can now just allow your day to flow. Trying not to control what is going to happen in the future. Just control the present moment. The journey is the destination. The present moment takes us into the future. And by not having a certain attachment to the outcome, you can now in the present moment just do your best. Put your love, put your devotion into your action, into what you are doing. And be very intentional about it. If that scares you, good. If that freaks you out a bit, good. Take the responsibility, take the challenge. Just enjoy, explore, and see what happens. See what comes out of it. Namaste. Wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that. Now always, like I always say, go out there, show them what you got, put your best foot forward, go towards the shiny side of the street, and go for the silver lining. Yeah, always go for the silver lining. And should it not work out, no big deal. You'll get another chance and another chance and another chance. So just keep moving forward. Just keep putting in the work. Bow down, surrender, and then open yourself up to it. It's all there. It's all there. Mwah.